Good afternoon, everybody. Four and I am, yes, day 203. So if y'all notice, like I took a little couple of days hiatus. And that's because like, I always want to be transparent with y'all about my recovery, this this whole forehead and I am journey, right? And if and if I if I can't do that, then I'm not I'm not gonna I, I have to have to be transparent. So boom. I was having difficulty with someone or whatever. And the difficulty came with this. It was like, well, I don't understand why you need, like, I don't understand why you, why you need to take a break from me. And it's like, I wasn't taking a break from the person. Let me tell you something about recovery. Like, for me, let me, when a person is addicted to drugs and alcohol, we about to get straight to the point. When a person is addicted to drugs and alcohol, when they say that they're an uh, addict, a, a recovering addict, or they, they're recovering from some stuff, you understand what I'm saying? You're recovering because you didn't love yourself. Because when you're doing drugs and alcohol, there's no way you could love yourself. There's no way. If you loved yourself, you wouldn't treat yourself badly. You wouldn't treat your body badly. You would not do that, right? Check it out. Now that, like, I feel like I'm more sensitive now than I've ever been. Like, I can't just smoke a blunt or drink some henny or da 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 I can't do any of that at this point. You understand? It's not that I can't. I don't want to. Because it's, it's just not for me, right? Check it out. So, for me, it's just like the audacity of some people. People always, oh, you pancake or you switching up. No, it's not that. It's just some, sometimes I need, how are you going to get mad at me because I need my time? I'm that person. I go ghost coast to coast. Yes, I I tell certain people, like, listen, this, I'm, I'm about to go ghost. Or, you know, but sometimes I don't. And they know me, so they don't take it personal. So I don't understand why this person was taking it so personal. Like, how dare you? You know, you're supposed, you claim that you know me. My thing is this, is that I'm in the process of loving myself because drinking and drugging and all that stuff, I didn't love myself. That's just what it was. You know what I'm saying? I didn't. So now that I'm learning to love myself, it's like I have to safeguard myself from everything outside of me. I'm going to repeat that. I got to safeguard myself from everything outside of me. And if you're in a healing process, a recovery process, you have to do that. That is essential. That is key to your survival. Yes, yeah, especially if you wanted to thrive and become and step into this new person. And that's what I'm learning to do. And I didn't realize that this road would be lonely sometimes. You understand? But I feel like God is separating me from certain things and certain people and certain places and stuff because I need that to grow. I got to be able to depend on me. And it's not to say I don't have my circle and my friends that can depend that I depend on. But I don't want to lean too much on them because I've done that in the past. And I can admit that. I've leaned a lot on my friends and my circle. And they know who they are. And I sincerely apologize for that. Family too. I sincerely apologize for that because that was me being selfish. And now I'm in a space in my life where I don't want to be selfish. I don't want to be selfish. I don't want to be selfish. That is key for me. You feel me? So it's just like, damn. When I start to think, it's like, this process of me safeguarding myself is is a lot. You know what I mean? It, it, it really is. And it just makes me feel like I'm grateful. But this is it, this, this painful. Like this healing journey, this recovery journey is painful. But I feel like it's a good pain if that makes any sense. I feel like it's going to be pain that turns into profit. You know what I mean? It's like, I feel like my pain is turning into a profit. And not even just financially, but more so spiritually, emotionally. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like everything is, I feel like everything is, is really coming together. But at the fact that it's coming together for me, sometimes I feel like I'm breaking apart. Even though it's coming together. So, if anybody that can relate, stick and stay. You know, when you got to take your time, take your time. And you don't have to explain yourself to anyone. You know, you do, people don't understand, you do them a courtesy when you explain yourself to them. It's a courtesy that I do that for you. For me, I feel like you should already know me. And you know this is going to happen because I'm in this journey and you know how this looks. And if you don't, then you need to get to know me. Don't call yourself my, you be close and stuff and now be close. But now you mad because I'm taking my time? Because I'm going to take it. And I'm going to take it unapologetically. That's what, we, that's what people need to do. Take it unapo unapologetically. Take your time. Sometimes you don't want to be around people, all that stuff. You don't you don't want to just deal like I didn't even I don't even want to watch social media. I did I didn't want to see that. I didn't want to indulge. I didn't want to engage. None of that. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to just do my inside work. And I actually feel great. Like I felt like I needed that breath of fresh air. You know, y'all know I always had something good to eat. I can't wait to show y'all the video of that. Oh my god, I had some jerk salmon that was to die for. Cheese and rice. Mm-hmm. You know I took a video. But um, but yeah. So be, don't apologize for taking your time. Be unapologetic about safeguarding yourself, especially in your healing season, in your recovery journey. We, we need to do things like that. Let's normalize that. And let's normalize people not having the audacity to take that personal.